Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to give you a little update on my uh, models that I'm working on right now. Uh, I know I haven't done any real model building updates in the last month or so. And uh, I've got, actually I've got three I'm working on, but really two actively working on. And this is uh, the one I'm working on mainly right now. It's a uh, Tamiya uh, British quad gun tractor, and I've also got the artillery piece that goes with it. A separate kit. I hadn't started on it yet. It's 135 scale. Uh, this is actually an older version of this kit. Uh, not sure of the date on it, but it's uh, probably 80s or 90s, something like that. But anyway, I've kind of got this is where I'm at as far as uh, this is the upper body of the quad and the paint uh, pattern they've got on there, uh, which the British used at different times. Uh, different areas. I can't remember if this was uh, North Africa or Europe, but I'm not sure. I have to look that up. I can't remember when I, where I read this at. And I got the wheels, tires uh, ready to go pretty much. And then this is the uh, chassis and the uh, engine. It's hard to tell on there. This little web camera doesn't pick up very good detail up close. And then there's the bottom chassis. I'm still doing some weathering, some more painting, things like that. I've got, uh, still got to install the wheels and everything. I don't know how this is going to pick up very well, but uh, this is, like I said, it's 135 scale, which is what I build on armor. I don't care for the smaller scales. I have enough trouble trying to build it in this scale. I know it's a lot cheaper and takes up less space to build 172 scale, but uh, my eyes are too old, and I uh, I just rather build 135 scale. That's the scale I remember building for armor back in the 70s when I was building, and uh, just prefer it. Like I said, the one I've got a couple of 172 scale kits that I bought at a flea market, and I'm, I'm probably going to end up trading them or selling them because they're just too small. But anyway, that's where I'm kind of at right now, guys, and I appreciate. Uh, uh, all the subscribers. I can't believe I've got almost a hundred subscribers now, and I never would have figured that when I got on to do this. And especially since I don't post all that many videos, which I'm, I intend to do more in 2013. I intend to build, have more builds, and and try to get my videos a little better. I know they're not all that great, but uh, I do appreciate everybody who subscribed to my channel, everybody who watches. I really do. Uh, sometimes I don't get a chance to comment on your videos but I try to watch everybody that I'm subscribed to uh, um, I do my best to, to check everybody's out and I, I really do enjoy watching your videos I learn a lot from everyone on here all of you guys uh, some of you are just really amazing model builders and I'm one of those who I like uh, I like cars the hot rods I like uh, the military models I love airplanes so I kind of build in those three categories. I've never really gotten into ships or science fiction stuff, but who knows? I'm not going to limit myself. Whatever I want to do, that's what I'm going to try to do. And uh, military cars and airplanes have always been my thing, though. So that's mainly what I will build. But uh, who knows? Maybe I'll build a ship or something, too. Maybe a Star Trek model or Star Wars or something. I don't know. I just like model building, and I'm really getting glad to get back into it. There's one thing I've still got to get like everybody else seems to have gotten for Christmas, except for me, is a <laughs> airbrush. I want to get an airbrush. It's just real tough for me. I'm using rattle cans, and it's tough weather-wise this time of year to paint outside. So I need to get me a rig set up like that. And I think that's my next goal. And maybe next month I'll get get into that. Maybe I can do more painting. If I can do more painting, I can get more models built quicker. And uh, Anyway, I'm doing it mostly for the enjoyment anyway. It's good relaxation. It takes my mind off stuff. Anyway, that's where I'm at, guys. I appreciate everybody watching. And uh, I'm going to try to keep this short because I haven't got that much to show you right now. Like I said, it's, it's these these things here. Tell me what you think on the paint selection on this. The You know, it's a, basically a sand color with the black. Uh, you know, i still got to do... I'm going to do weathering once the model's into that stage. But... Uh, I want to do some weather and make it look like it's uh, been in, in, the, in a war <laughs> and uh, make it all look a little more realistic. But that's where I'm at right now. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Everybody have a great day.